Hello, I'm Camille Castile, Superintendent of the Chandler Unified School District. Early each year, we prepare an annual report for our community. In it, we provide up-to-date information about our school district as we reflect upon notable happenings and growth of the prior year. Looking back, the override election presented us with our greatest challenge. And on behalf of our students, staff, and the district governing board, I thank you for supporting its approval. Your positive vote will provide the needed funding to help maintain the district's ongoing effort to provide the highest quality education for our students. It will allow us to provide the resources needed to achieve the lofty goals associated with our strategic plan, Journey 2020. Most importantly, it makes a bold statement about how the Chandler community values public education and supports those who make it their life's work. Now it's our job to repay your trust by providing a return on your investment and ensuring that the district continues to be a source of pride for our community. I hope you find this annual report informative and I thank you again for supporting the Chandler Unified School District. CTA Liberty received the National Blue Ribbon Schools Award for 2013. First of all, the Arizona Department of Education nominates five schools. The main criteria is academic achievement. Then the application process followed, and we heard on September 24th that we had uh, received the award. Why are we a Blue Ribbon School? I've asked myself that many times. We have great teachers and great staff. We have splendid children. And we have committed families who want to partner with us to bring the best to their students. And I think that CTA Liberty joins hands with the rest of our district to offer the best possible education to children, to families, that's why Liberty is a Blue Ribbon School, and that's why Chandler is a grade A district. It would take all of these words and more to describe the many challenges that we faced and the numerous goals that we achieved in the Chandra Unified School District during the past year. Currently, the district's student enrollment surpasses 41,000 at 43 school sites. Guiding us to the goal of doing our best for each of these students is the district's governing board and our comprehensive strategic plan called Journey 2020. In the last few decades, we have experienced great success in our schools, but we knew that we could go further. So about in, I think, at 2008, 2009 time period, we got together to decide how we could move to the next tier of education. We came up with some new goals, new expectations, and decided to call it Journey 2020. The ultimate goal of Journey 2020 is to become one of the premier districts in the state and indeed in the nation. There are eight segments to our Journey 2020. Uh, we talk about outstanding staff, student achievement, managing our resource, uh, district recognition. Uh, so we take a number of areas that we're trying to expand and embellish um, all the characteristics that we think make a quality school district. And, and we look at those and uh, measure them each year to see are we making progress, are we becoming better and better each and every year. Maximizing financial and human resources is a key directive of Journey 2020. The Chandler School District has placed tremendous importance on management of its resources since early in its history. And our modern district continues to confront many of those same challenges of increasing demands with limited funds that district founders faced 100 years ago. Today's challenges are just bigger. Certainly the economic forces impact our school budgets, whether it's our utility rates going up, uh, fuel for our buses, you see the increases there. 
the legislature and what they choose to do uh, with our funding impacts us tremendously. Your federal and state mandates also have a, a major impact. Many times we're required to implement certain programs or make certain adjustments in our uh, operations and there is no additional funds to do that. We're actually funded at one of the lowest in the entire nation. We have been ranked 49th for a number of years. We do a great job with the money that we do bring in and we have to be extremely efficient. The Great Recession hurt us a lot. Um, the state of Arizona had the greatest cuts in education nationally. Plus we're funded pretty much last in education. In addition to that, the legislature over a four year period reduced our budget $36 million. So what we've learned over the years is, is to definitely build a contingency. It gives you the ability to get creative um, and try different things. During the Great Recession, it helped us balance our budget and allowed us um, to maintain our teacher pupil ratio. Our maintenance and operations budget covers primarily salaries, benefits, purchase services, supplies, travel. It's the items that help us operate our school district on a day-to-day -day basis. Our capital budget is specific. It funds things like textbooks, it funds our furniture and equipment, our technology. There really, for the last several years, has not been any capital funding. Uh, the reason Chandler Schools has done uh, relatively okay is because we have been uh, utilizing previous bond funds in order to make our capital improvements. I think our day-to-day -day operations when it comes to funding we should be in a relatively good position since the override passed. One of our biggest challenges we're going to face is we're still growing and we anticipate another 800 to 1,000 students next year. Uh, we need to build at least three more schools uh, two in the immediate future and another one down the line. And we're going to add two big wings to probably Hamilton and Perry because the high school enrollment will dramatically increase over the next several years. So our next biggest challenge will be in the capital arena. The district's present tax rate is $6.46. We have the lowest tax rate out of all of the East Valley school districts. It's very hard to predict what the tax rate's going to be. Now our job is to try to keep it as steady as possible. You do see an increase uh, this year because um, a couple different things took place. The qualifying tax rate the legislature set went up and our assessed value actually slightly went down. Chandra Unified maintains thorough transparency in money management. Relevant state financial records and reports are posted on the district website for public information. We also have other means of promoting community involvement in business operations. Probably the most important thing we do is, is we do a budget committee. And we ask anybody in the community, it's open, uh, it's not restricted. We actually like to, to people that want to ask tough questions, those are the people I want in the, on that committee. Because if, if they're thinking about those tough questions, other people in the room are doing that. So we really encourage citizens to come in because it gives us an opportunity to get the facts in front of them then let them make their decisions accordingly. Due to growth and attrition, Chandler Unified needed 275 new teachers for the current school year. Public school teachers are key to the future of the state's economy. Yet with Arizona funding for education being among the lowest in the nation, teacher pay is inadequate for the level of responsibility they're charged with. This presents challenges for the district. One of the goals for Journey 2020 is outstanding staff. And what we talk about when we talk about outstanding staff is we need to attract the best and we need to retain the best. So as far as retention goes, we will continue to try to balance and support our teachers, especially as they continue to go through some pretty radical changes in the future. And then as far as attracting the best quality person, how do we get the best and brightest into the field of education, not just into Chandler, but we've got to get them into the field of education. The starting salary at 36000 at Chandler, and we're competitive, but that starting salary for somebody with a four-year degree and that amount of training and the required training for the future is not really quite enough to attract the best and brightest high school student to consider education as a, as a college major and then to move into the education field. And so we're, we're going to have to think outside the box and try to I mean, do something creative to get people into the field and people to, to retain people into, in the field. Right now, teachers across the country are facing extensive changes to public education as Common Core standards are implemented. In our state, they're called the Arizona College and Career Ready Standards. 
and the State Department of Education adopted them in 2010. The new standards are internationally benchmarked, allowing educators to accurately compare student achievement here with that of other students from around the world. Teaching the previous standards was really teaching a lot of information, but at the surface level. With teaching with the new standards, our students really have to know the content, and that's the biggest difference. Whereas before, let me hear exactly what my teacher said, and let me see if I can repeat it, and now it's really putting together, here's what this person said, this person said, this person said, here's what I think about it, let me draw from that evidence, and then let me share with you my thoughts. That's powerful. The new curriculum standards merge perfectly with the goals of Journey 2020. Administrators and educators are generally positive about the new curriculum, and teacher training is happening simultaneously with implementation. The state requires three phases of training. The first phase was really having the teachers understand what those standards were, how they're different from the previous standards, and then understanding the shifts instructionally. Phase two, which is where we currently are, is applying that content and content pedagogy. Phase three will integrate STEM. Certainly we didn't get funding from the state for all of our training, so we have had to pull from other resources. I, I would say our biggest challenge is we don't have materials that align with the new standards. We're working with teachers in a number of different content areas, taking a look. What do we have? What do we need? And well, we have a great board who's very supportive of us and really looks to us to say, here's what we need to make sure that our students are achieving. I would also say, geez, we live in Chandler. Look at all the high-tech companies that are around. They really reach out to be a part of what we have going on. I think it's con us continuing to reach out and build partnerships. It's continuing to try and find opportunities for our teachers to be educated and learn from them, have our students to have experiences out there. Chandler Unified is dedicated to allocating all of its attention and resources with the single goal of providing the best education possible for our students. The Journey 2020 plan specifically calls for academic excellence through personalized education and student-centered learning. This has driven the district to create a menu of educational services to meet the needs of each and every Chandler student. For elementary schools, um, our Journey 2020 goals are really to provide a high proficiency in each grade level for all students uh, for their abilities, knowledge, and um, their skill set. We also want to make sure that we provide uh, alternative uh, environments for students based on their differentiated needs and unique abilities. So for example, our CTA site is a more of a traditional school philosophy, um, which is very popular in our district. We're expanding our CTAs. We have hybrid schools that have the CTA, as well as the classics, which we consider the classic um, program. We also have gifted and talented instruction, uh, and that's also diversified for personalized learning and for customization, meaning there's three types of gifted programs our parents can choose. Uh, they can either choose the, the Knox Gifted Academy, uh, which is an open boundary school, and that school, it will uh, prescribe to all gifted students kindergarten through sixth grade. Parents can also choose a satellite gifted program within a neighborhood school, and that's an option for them as well. And we have three schools that have those programs. And then we have um, consultative services where the child can remain at their own school and in their own classroom. We also have one of our, one of our programs coming in will be the Tarwater Mandarin program. We'll start in kindergarten and 50% of their instruction will be done in English, 50% of their instruction will be done in Mandarin. It's a choice and parents will have choice and teachers will have choice also to participate in those programs as well. So we're looking at different ways in order to enhance the learning of our students. Some of our students don't work well within the traditional setting. So you can look at our online schools, our alternative schools. Not only do we have Hill as our alternative school, we just opened up Hill at ICANN, which really serves the population that is nearest ICANN. We have our partnership with the YMCA with our iLearn program that really focuses on students that have dropped out, that are coming back, that might be a 19-year-old, 20-year-old, and, and we're serving those students. We're looking at enhancing the acceleration programs that we have. For example, BASHA has the Accelerated Middle School, um, which has really taken off, and there's been quite a bit of growth this year. 
um, looking at the number of hours that our students are taking in dual credit where they are in high school classes but also earning college credit. We look at the middle years program that is at Anderson Junior High as well as in the 9th and 10th grade at Chandler High. That flows right into the IB program that has been very successful. We look at Willis Junior High and the expansion of what they're doing with their I Academy and really looking at one-to-one -one computing and utilizing technology for instruction and really enhancing the learning of those students. Perry High School is, is, is branched out and, and really embarked on, a, on their STEM diploma which is, is continuing to grow. Chandler Early College is a gym that people aren't aware of. We've been in partnership with Chandler Gilbert Community College for over 25 years. Where we are with the program is, is for students that are interested in the smaller setting, really looking for that college going culture, and they're taking advantage of the opportunity of taking college classes during the normal day, as well as meeting their high school requirements at the same time. Our focus is also in CTE. Um, we've enhanced our programs in culinary and woods, especially at Chandler High School. Um, we've just updated our photo labs within Hamilton High School and really focusing in on making sure that not only are we looking at college, but again, in focusing on careers. Parent choice and personalized education programs extend to even the preschool level. We have a very deliberate practice in our, our early childhood learning programs to provide different opportunities for students and parents based on their need. These are opportunities of program design, from a Reggio program to a Kinder Academy program to a preschool to a Priority Preschool or a Title I Preschool Academic program. The measurement of student achievement is the gauge for district success. Last year, our students exceeded average state scores in every category of the Ames test. Students choosing to take the SAT and ACT college entrance exams outscored the averages of the state and nation in all areas. Our dropout rate is less than 1%, and all four of the district's comprehensive high schools received a grade of A. The district has 10 of the top 100 highest ranked schools in Arizona, more than any other district and CUSD itself has been rated a grade A district three times. Here are a few of the many awards and special recognitions received by Chandler Unified students and staff members over the past year.
More detailed information about Chandler Schools can be found in the printed version of the 2014 Annual Report. It's available online for download, or you can pick up a copy at the district office in all CUSD schools. We encourage you to visit the district website often for updated information about your grade A school district, Chandler Unified.